right, it is update time, and not just weekly update time. There's an actual DLC update that came out today, so uh, yeah, that's cool. So we've got an extra bunch to go over today, a lot more than usual. And we'll start it off with the new content, because there is a fair bit of new content that's been added to the game. And we'll start off with the new vehicles in Legendary Motorsport. So we've got four new Legendary Motorsport vehicles there on your screen now. You've got the Benefactor BR8. You've also got the DR1. Those are your two new open wheel vehicles. You've got the Tigon as the new supercar. And the new sports car is the Coquette D10. This is what they all look like in person in my garage. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best, but this is pretty much what they look like. Moving into Benny's. If you're a car guy, I should just say, you're going to really like this update because because we've got six new Benny vehicles to go over. So we'll start off, you've got the Gauntlet for 615,000. You've got the van here, how do you pronounce that? Yuga, Yoga, that one's 195,000. You've got the Glendale for $200,000, the Yosemite for 485,000. You've got the Peyote and the Manana for cheap as well. And we've also got a handful of vehicles that are new in Southern San Andreas as well. So the first five there, they're all new. The one that most people are probably going to get is the Penumbra. That's $1.38 million. As for other new content, we've got the new yacht missions. And I know these were kind of hyped up. I mean, it's cool to have sort of a use for the yacht finally. And these missions are pretty fun. But if you are hoping that these were going to make the yacht something that you should actually buy now... Uh, you're going to be disappointed because these really don't pay that well. I haven't finished all of them yet, but for the first mission, you get $28,000. But that's with double money this week. So you'd only normally get around $14,000 for completing that one. So yeah, really not that great. We've also got a bunch of new open wheel races. So like I said, this is a car guys DLC pretty much. All of the open wheel races are double money this week to celebrate the new races. And then you've also got the new Diamond Series adversary modes, which take place inside the actual Diamond Casino. I've done one of them. It's really strange to sort of be in the casino, but it's pretty cool as well. So those missions are a welcomed addition. A lot of people were hoping for a map expansion and we didn't quite get that. Now, I don't have any footage of this myself, but with the new business battle format, there is a new aircraft carrier that's going to spawn slightly off to the bottom right of the map. Like I said, I don't have any footage of that yet because I haven't got a business battle, but that is kind of a new location for a new business battle, so that's pretty cool. Now, as for your discounts this week, Rockstar has hooked you up 30% off all the yachts and customization for those yachts, which is, uh, that's that's a nice bonus. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Rockstar actually put them on sale this week. Even with the discount, if you're looking at making money from a yacht, these, it's still not worth it to buy a yacht. But like I've been saying for years, it is one of the biggest flexes in the game. So if you want it just to flex on your friends and just show people you got a lot of money, definitely pick one up. If you want it to make money, don't pick one up. Not only is the yacht discounted this week, we've also got the arcade 30% off and all of the cosmetics and even the master control terminal and drone stations are discounted as well this week. If you don't have the master control terminal yet, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. This is going to make it so much easier to run all of your businesses. So definitely pick it up and we'll finish it off. I almost forgot the, the podium vehicle this week. It's the ETR1. So go spin the wheel this week, try and win that one. And I think that that pretty much wraps it up. So a big bunch of content to go over this week. Do I think this update or DLC, whatever you really want to call it, do I think this is going to prolong the life of GTA Online? Uh, no, not really. Do I think it's going to hold us over till the update at the end of the year? Uh, again, probably not. I don't really think that's what this DLC was for, though. It's sort of just... I mean, just to add new content, because there hasn't really been any in a while. I don't think this is meant to be a big update that's meant to bring a bunch of people back in. Sort of just something to keep the game a little bit fresh. So if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the fact that we actually got some new content in this game, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Shout out to everyone who joined on the live stream. We hit 250,000 subscribers in the live stream. So a massive thank you. That's like a quarter of a million people. That's unreal. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Poise.